All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 27. This is more on the distributive property. And then also we're going to be doing simplifying decimal equations. So let's start with the distributive property. Um, so far you've learned the distributive, distributive property to be something like this. Now, early on you learned to go 7 plus 2 is 9, and then 4 times 9 is 36. With the distributive property, we taught you to go 4 times 2 is 8, plus 4 times 7, 28, 28 plus 8, 36. You get the same answer, um, but they're trying to teach you how to use this on the outside to multiply what's on the inside. Okay, that's the, what the distributive property is. Now, you're going to start doing that with letters. So, for example, xy times y squared minus x squared z. And I'm going to put a line through the z so we know that that's a z and not a 2. Okay. Now, just like with the numbers, you're going to take this and multiply it by this. Okay? And remember when we were taking feet times feet, it would become feet squared. Mm -hmm. Same thing with letters. x times another x makes x squared. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's an x on this one. And it has no other x to multiply it by. And then it has a y times y squared makes y cubed. Mm -hmm. See how that happened? Yep. So you just take x times there's nothing there. So you just leave it and then the y times the y squared makes there's three y's. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if it helps you to take this y and go y times y, then you can go... Okay, then that means I need to go x, y, 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 when I multiply that y times y times y. And then you can just then go x, y cubed. However you want to do it, this is the easiest way to do it. Okay, therefore this would become um, x, x, z, like that. And then when we multiply this x, y times this x, x, z, that would mean we have 1x, 2x's, and 3x's, so that makes x, cubed, and then there's a y, and there's not a y here, and then there's a z, and not a z here. So you just bring those down. Yep. Or okay? So then the final answer would be xy cubed minus x3yz. Okay? Now, now that we've done that once, let's kind of do it again. And again, if you want to expand it first, if that's simpler for you to do, that is just fine. Four xy cubed x to the fourth power y minus 5x. Okay, now when you get ones with numbers in it, see how we have numbers in it? Yeah. And if it helps you to put a 1 in front of every, um, all of these sets, that's okay for you to do that. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not going to hurt you, okay? So what you would do on that is you would, I would always start off with multiplying the numbers. 4 times 1 is 4. And then we're going to multiply our letters. Okay? Here I have 1x, and here I have 4x's. So when I have 4x's plus another um, x to the 1 power, it makes x to the 5th power. Do you get that? Yeah. And then my y, I have y to the 3rd power plus y to the 1st power. If that helps you to put a 1 right there, you can. And then that makes that y to the fourth power. See that? Mm -hmm. Then we minus, just like that has a minus, and we're done with that part. Now we're going to go to this next one over here. And again, you're going to multiply your numbers first. 4 times 5, 20. Okay? And then you're going to take your x. I have 1x and 1x here. So it makes x squared because you're multiplying them. And then y cubed, and then there's no other y's to multiply, so it's just y cubed. Okay? And that would be your final answer. Um, so hopefully that's all making sense as you're doing that. Let's do a few more of those kind just to make sure. This time I'm going to expand the whole thing just to let you see if you like that better. AY minus 4Y to the fifth power. And now this time they put the um, number instead of being on the left, they're putting it on the right. Um, if this bothers you, that it's on the left, 
It really doesn't matter if you want to move this to the right to then multiply it. It says the same thing because remember when you're multiplying, if I was doing 5 times 4 times 3, it wouldn't matter if I did 5 times 4, if I did 5 times 3 and then 5 times, then 3 times 4. It doesn't matter. When multiplication, you can go however you want. Okay? Just a quick review on that. So I do like working mine on the left, so I'm going to do that. Okay? I just brought this over. There we go. Now, I'm going to go in and break all of this up. And the first thing I'm going to do is put a 1 there. Just some people like that better. So, let's. I'm going to take this and I'm just breaking it, extend, extending it. So, 2xxy times 1ay minus 4yy y, y, and y. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take this and multiply it by this. But the first thing you do is your numbers. 2 times 1 is 2. And then x and x, is there another x over here? No. So x times x is x squared. y times y is y squared. And then there's just an a. So you can put a to the 1 or just an a because that a means that there's one of them. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now minus, and let's do this one, 2 times 4, 8 and then x times x, or, and there's no x is over here, so that just becomes x squared. And then y, and then there are times y, 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 and there's five of them, so five, six. So y to the sixth. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, one more of those, and then we'll move to the next part of our lesson. Um, all right, it says use the distributive property to expand, and then it gives us this. So that's kind of how they state it when they want you to do it. Okay. Write this down on your paper if you're working it with me. Okay. Here we go. Um, this time I'm not going to ex um, extend. Um, you still can if you want to. Just take and break this up. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this and go to this one. If it helps you to put it in parentheses so you can see what you're working with, you can do that. That's another hint that you can use. Okay, so I'm going to do my numbers. 8 times 5 is 40. All right? And I have m squared times m cubed makes m to the fifth. All right? Then I have x. Remember, you can put a 1. And here we can put a 1. x1 one times x to the 1 makes x squared. All right? And now we're done with that one. Now let's do minus, and we're going to do this 3x to the 5th power. But first, you're going to take this 3 and this 8, and um, I'm going to take 8 times 3, 24. And then I've got my m, and there's no m's here, so we just leave it m squared just like it is. But my x is, there's an x1 times an x5, so x to the 5th power times x to the 1 power makes x to the 6th power. Okay, done with that one. Now we're going to bring down plus, and then we're going to do this 2x. So let's do our number first. 8 times 2 is 16. And then we've got m squared times no, no more m, so it just stays m squared. And then x1 times x1 makes x squared. So you get 40m to the 5th power x squared minus 24m squared x to the 6th power plus 16m squared x squared. Hopefully that all makes sense. Okay, so that's how you do the expansion on those. Alright, the next part of the lesson is on simpl simplifying decimal equations. Alright, and um, basically um, this is kind of a continuation of what we did um, a week ago, so, but using decimal numbers. 0.4 plus 0.02 m equals 4.6. Okay, based on this, what would I have to do first? Do you remember what we're trying to do? Get the m by itself. Yes, get the m by itself, but first it's with something, so we have to leave it with that first. So we move the 0.4 to the other side. Yes, so since this is plus 0.4, when we move it across the equals, it becomes minus. So. I'm going to um, bring this down, 0.02m equals 4.6. And then when I bring this 0.4 over, it becomes minus 0.4. Done with that. All right. 
Now let's go and work this problem, and I'm just going to um, look over here just so I don't do the math of it. Um, actually, I didn't do that. So, okay, let's just, we'll just do it. 4.6 minus 0 0.4. So, yeah, 4.2. Okay, so we get 4.2 right here. Now it becomes 0 0.02 times, remember what that means when a number is next to a letter, times m equals, remember that? So now we're trying to get the m by itself. So this times 0 0.02 becomes what? It becomes divided by. The opposite of div timesing is multiplying, or dividing. So this times 0 0.02 has become divided by 0 0.02. So if you were to see that, it would become 4.2 divided by 0 0.02, right? Yep. And then we'll move our decimal one, two. We'll move our decimal one, two. Add our zero in there. This is kind of getting in the way. Okay, move my decimal up. And then we end up getting two goes into 420. So let's see, that's gonna end up being, oops. 210. 210. Okay, so M equals 210. Got it? Okay, now let's do a few more just to make sure you're getting it. All right, this one says, there's only two of these problems, so that's good. It doesn't keep going on and on and on. Okay, 0 0.002, and they're using the letter K instead of an X, plus, 0 0.02 equals 4.02. All right. Okay. I kind of do like how they are making this. And if this makes sense to your brain, you can do it like this. Do you see how I'm moving? I can move this decimal, Isaac. And I can go 1, 2, 3. And that becomes a, a, um, becomes a whole number 2. But if I do that to this one, I have to do that to all of them. So yeah. then if I go, there's three, one, two, three, one, two, three, what goes here? Two, two zero. Uh-huh. And then one, two, three, becomes that. So every number just becomes um, a whole number rather than a decimal number. I do like that they're doing that. And if you want to do that, you can. So this will become 2K plus 20 equals 4,020. See how much simpler... Yeah, that looks, if that doesn't make sense to your brain, just work it normal with the decimals. Okay, so again, we're just trying to get the K by itself, but first it's with this 2. So we leave it, so this plus 20 moves over here and becomes minus 20. So then we get 4,000. Because 4,020 minus 20 is 4,000. Okay, so then I got 2K equals 4,000. And then I want K by itself, so this says 2 times K. And now I'm going to take the K by itself, and since it says times 2, divided by 2. And so then K would equal 2,000. Okay? Now, regardless, if I were to do that with decimals, I would still get this answer. Okay? So you can do it however you prefer, um, but that is a simpler way. That is lesson 27. Let's do um, problem F in the lesson practice. It is a little bit more confusing, and it's not taught in the lesson. It definitely needs to be taught. So, 0.7m plus 0.6m equals 3.4. Okay, do you remember when we were doing like terms and I would say you have to combine the like terms? Well, this is like 0.7 monkeys plus 0.6 monkeys. Yeah. Let's go and combine the monkeys because that's the m's. Yeah. You see? So, you're not multiplying the m's because this isn't multiplication. This is adding. Yeah. See that? So um, you're adding. So this is you have to see whenever you're adding letters. When you're adding, you have to see them as zoom animals. Remember how we talked about that? So this is 0.7 monkeys plus 0.6 monkeys, and that becomes um, 1.3 monkeys, right? So then this 1.3 monkeys equals 3.14. Mm -hmm. Now we want the M by itself, this 1.3 times M. Okay, and so we want to say M equals 3.14, and since this is times 1.3, we're going to divide by that, divide by 1.3. See 
See that? And so then we're done with that, and then M equals, um, and then we could actually do that problem. Okay. Okay? So it is tricky. I would have gotten confused as well. Um, so make sure that you're remembering that when you add these letters, um, that you are you need to see them as animals or something.